Labour's dramatic fall from grace has sent shockwaves across the UK, with the party's decline worsening under Keir Starmer's leadership. Promising integrity and change, Starmer now faces one of the most humiliating series of by-election defeats in recent history. Instead of being a wake-up call, these losses seem to signal the deepening collapse of a party embroiled in scandal, broken promises, and internal strife. In just three months, Labour has lost 11 council seats in key by-elections across the country. Once solid Labour strongholds are crumbling due to Starmer's ineffective leadership. Many expected his initial months in office to be a time to rebuild, but Labour has instead faced negative headlines, falling local election results, and growing public frustration. The defeat in Blackpool, where Reform UK took the Martin Ward seat from Labour, was a particularly humiliating blow. Lee Anderson, Reform UK's whip, called the result a political tsunami and predicted more victories for his party. Labour losing ground in its traditional heartlands is a sign of serious trouble. But Blackpool is just one example. In Derbyshire, Labour lost another key seat to Reform UK, and the Green Party secured a victory in Scotforth East for Lancaster City Council. Meanwhile, this SNP continues to challenge Scottish Labour, taking a significant seat in Dundee City Council. Labour's decline is not only in England, but across the UK. These electoral setbacks come at a sensitive time for Starmer, who has tried to distance his government from scandals. Despite pledges to restore honesty to politics, Starmer and his ministers have been caught accepting expensive gifts and perks during election campaigns. For many voters, this marks a turning point. Labour, which promised change, now appears more focused on enjoying power than fulfilling promises. The revelations about Starmer accepting designer glasses, high-end clothing, and access to luxury penthouses have tarnished his image. Returning over £6,000 worth of gifts has done little to quell public anger. Voters feel betrayed, seeing Labour as no different from previous governments. Ministers in Starmer's team have also accepted free tickets to luxury events, further damaging the party's reputation. Starmer's government, which campaigned on transparency, now faces accusations of hypocrisy. Voters who expected a fresh approach are disillusioned, and by-election defeats signal their frustrations. Unless Labour changes course, it risks further collapse. Labour's losses are more than just council seats, they reveal a deeper problem within the party. By-elections are a barometer of public opinion. And if this trend continues, Labour faces serious trouble in the May 2025 local elections. Labour's traditional base is turning to alternatives like Reform UK, the Conservatives and the Greens. Reform UK, led by Nigel Farage, is gaining momentum as the voice of the working class, appealing to voters who feel abandoned by Labour's elitism. Farage's rhetoric resonates with those who feel overlooked in areas like Blackpool, where Labour once dominated. Even the Conservatives, despite their own issues, have gained five council seats from Labour in by-elections in places like Est Albans and Worthing. While not perfect, they have seen as a viable alternative to Labour. With local elections approaching, the Tories are poised to capitalise on Labour's weaknesses and may see a resurgence in support. The discontent within Labour isn't just among voters, it's growing within the party itself. Some Labour MPs and councillors are openly criticising Starmer's leadership, warning that his refusal to address scandals and dismiss criticism is driving voters away. Internal rebellion is brewing as councillors and MPs express concern about the party's future. Starmer has shown little interest in changing course, choosing instead to double down on his government's decisions and refusing to admit fault. This attitude is deepening the divide within Labour, and if Starmer doesn't act soon, he may face more rebellions from his own party members. Looking ahead, Labour's future is uncertain. The by-election defeats are just the beginning, and unless Starmer can turn things around, Labour may face even more significant losses in the upcoming local elections. Reform UK is gaining traction, the Conservatives are regrouping, and the Greens are growing in strength. Starmer's leadership will be tested in the coming months, and the fate of Labour could hang in the balance. The big question now is whether Labour can recover, or if Starmer's government will continue to unravel, leaving the party in ruins. With each defeat, voters seem more ready to make their voices heard, and if things don't change soon, Labour could face an even bigger crisis in the near future.